What's up, y'all? You already know you're back on the road with your boy Ram Rican, the best gig channel on YouTube. You are not subscribed right now? Bro. No diddy? Wildin'. I don't know why you not subscribed. You watching the videos. You, 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 you there whenever I post up my videos. You watching them. You streaming them. But you not subscribed? No diddy? That sounds crazy. <laughs> We getting a whole lot of money. Let's go. Get the cash, fuck with the ladies, run it up, run it, run it up, run it, run it up, run it up. I'm about to go and chase the bag. I'm about to blow the bank. I'm about to go and get the cash, fuck with the ladies, thing. I'm on my grind, baby. Yeah, I'm working overtime. I gotta get this money, cause it's on my mind. I gotta get this cash, gotta get them bands up. To all my money making niggas, put your hands up. Alright, today we got a job off of delivered. Last night I was taking a shower. My phone was going off crazy. My wife ran in there and said, baby, look, they just they just messaged you from delivered. I looked at the phone, $184 order in Brooklyn. Can't beat that, man. It's two miles, $184 payout, and I'm on my way. So let's go pick up this food and let's get to it. All right, what's going on, y'all? So we out here. I'm on my way to Brooklyn right now. Uh, the time is currently 9.50. My pickup is at 10.30. The GPS says that it's gonna take about 29 minutes to get there from my location, and we'll be arriving at 10.19. So that's still a good time. Uh, like I said, the pickup is at 10.30. Delivered offers you the flexibility to pick it up either 10 minutes early or 10 minutes after the pickup time. So we have space there. So we're definitely gonna go pick up this food. Like I said last night, I was taking a shower phone was going off with notification from delivered my wife brought me my phone i looked at it said 184 dollars in brooklyn for a full catering i accepted it immediately thank you delivered i appreciate it me and my family definitely appreciate you delivered for coming through man you know I'd like to say i'm blessed to be able to you know partner with a app like delivered where they have awarded me the ability to make this money so easily and take care of my family. So big shout out to you, Delivered. Like I said, we right now, we're in Manhattan. I'm in the upper Manhattan on 96th Street and 2nd Avenue. I'm making my way down to the FDR. We're driving down to Brooklyn. Um, so yeah, man, it's a nice smooth ride. It's gonna take us about 29 minutes to get there. It's kind of like an overcast day. Temperature says 43 degrees outside. Probably feels about like 35. It's a little chilly, not too bad. As long as the wind doesn't blow, you know, I'm pretty sure that we'll be all right. So I'm just sitting here right now. I'm at the red light. See people are on their way to work, on their way to school. This is a city that never sleeps. For those of y'all that never been to Manhattan, what's in New York period, definitely make that trip. It's worth it to see the good parts of New York. If you've never been here, you know, get it out of your system, come around, check out Times Square, check out Battery Park, check out the baseball stadiums, um, go check out the nice museums that, they, that we have. That's one thing me and my wife like to do, take a lot of trips to different museums, go check out the art that they have. Um, you know, it's not the most entertaining thing to do, but when you're with the right person, that experience is gonna be overwhelming and enjoyable. So make sure you go and check it out. Take the right type of person with you and you'll enjoy the experience. All right, man, I know a lot of y'all probably not into it as much as I am, but for those of y'all that are into it, what's your take on the WrestleMania? I'm a big WWE fan. I've been a fan since I was a little kid. You know, keeps me entertained. I like the storylines. I like some of the characters. The events are cool. The high flying, the slamming. You know, it is what it is. It's entertainment. It's better than watching, uh, you know, Bad Girls Club and chicks are just out there twerking and fighting over, no over nothing. So definitely check it out. Um, there's a big thing, man. This WrestleMania is gonna be big. The Rock is finally making his his, his debut, his reappearance into WrestleMania. It's gonna be The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. 
Who you think is gonna win, man? I think it's gonna be a big event. They got Meek Mill. It looks like Meek Mill's gonna be performing um, based off of all the marketing that's going on. It's in Philadelphia. It's not that far. Me and my wife looked up the tickets, but they want like $800 just for the nosebleed section. Wow. It's not that important, you know what I mean? So, plus I got, I got kids that definitely wanna go, so it's gonna come out to be very expensive. So it's not gonna be, you know, happening this year. It would be dope though, you know what I mean? To be in the building, to see that, to witness that firsthand. I remember when I was about, uh, I'd probably say like 11, 12, um, I went to my first WCW event. It was a Monday Nitro, I think it was called. And this is back when the NWO was the Wolfpack. I was a fan of the Wolfpack. I love Sting. Uh, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, uh, Conan, um, Hollywood Hogan joined. It was dope, man, you know what I mean? Wrestling was wrestling when, when WCW was around. He had the NWO, so it was cool, man, you know what I mean? I remember going to my, my own event live, like I said, about 11 or 12 years old. Uh, my mom, they got me some good seats along the entrance rampway. Um, so I was able to, you know, shake the hands of all the stars that were coming out, all the wrestlers and screaming and have my signs and shit like that. I've been looking for the video footage, um, you know, on YouTube, because, you know, they, they posted a lot of the videos of events and matches that's happened in the past. So I've been scouring through YouTube trying to see if I could find some of the, uh, the video footage, man, but it's hard, you know, because back in the days, video footage wasn't, video footage wasn't as, uh, exclusive as it is now you know with the high definition and the clarity and and, and the video editing and photoshopping so to make it a little challenge but i'm gonna find that video footage so i can post it up for y'all so y'all can see i was in the building we're making our way down to brooklyn we got about 24 minutes still left i'm on the fdr headed to the brooklyn bridge right now there's always traffic on this fdr anywhere you go takes about 45 minutes to get there 45 minutes to about an hour or so uh, yeah so anyways like I was saying about the wrestling man it's gonna be a dope event um, you know definitely gonna be watching for those of y'all that that don't have it they stream it live for free on Peacock you can sign up for a free uh, subscription monthly uh, trial and then you can cancel it right after um, through Peacock. So that's where I've been watching all the wrestling events. They've been streamed on Peacock. And we're definitely gonna be watching this new uh, upcoming WrestleMania. There's been a lot of different changes, uh, you know, to my business. Uh, my path has expanded and gone in multiple different directions than what I first started out as. And I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? I'm I'm sitting back and I'm allowing God to to pave my road for me. You know, He's my higher power, and uh, you know what He has planned and what He has in store for me it will happen. So y'all see that I I bought my cargo van, started off doing apps like Brody, uh, Dispatch, uh, been utilizing TaskRabbit a lot, did Instacart been doing delivered orders I've been on delivered that I've been on Zifty utilizing my van and my car um, but jobs just have been starting to take off ever since I got the cargo van so I started off doing transportation you know moving cargo from point A to point B God has been taking me in a different direction and TaskRab has been offering me a lot of jobs for moving jobs and for Junk removal. Junk removal is huge in my market right now. Um, like I said, I'm in New York City, but the junk removal is is ridiculously huge. So I've tapped in. Um, I've gotten a bunch of different contacts with uh, junk disposal um, yards, people that run the junk yards, 
a couple people that have uh, contracted businesses. So I'm looking to do some more partnerships with uh, construction sites for construction site cleanups, more contractors for any type of uh, home renovation cleanups. Um, we're also doing uh, full-blown apartment moves. So if you're out there and you, you're looking to move an apartment or just a piece of furniture, or you've bought something off of Facebook Marketplace, or you're selling something off of Facebook Marketplace, and you needed it delivered, or transported to, from point A to point B, that's where Ram Rica comes in. Make sure you drop us an email. My email address is R-A-M-R-I-C-A-N-L-L-C at gmail.com. I'm gonna put it right here on the screen for y'all. In case anybody has some jobs or, or, or some um, opportunities for me here in the New York area, send me an email and I'll definitely reach back out to you. Because I got a van, I'm also on Shipley. It's called Shipley.com. That's a website where it's like a load board. People put up jobs, postings, moves, um, big cargo, vehicles, animals, anything anything that needs transportation is on there um so shipley.com i'm also on uship which is also another app i don't really like it because a lot of the jobs are posted and they already come um you know with a with a price tag wow a lot of the prices for some of the jobs that's going on out there is, is it's not feasible it doesn't make sense I'm also on Dolly. I don't like Dolly, you know? I, 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 I haven't even done a job on Dolly, and I probably won't do a job on Dolly either. I've been on Dolly for at least six months already. Um, I've seen the jobs. I've, I've put in my request for a few jobs. I wasn't selected. Um, some of the other jobs that I did put in for or were offered or that were offered on the board, they weren't good, you know what I mean? If you look at the details in Dolly, they fix everything into one set price, right? So, for example, they had um, like a three bedroom, uh, three bedroom move, right? A three, three bedroom apartment move uh, from point A to point B, and stairs was included. So that must mean that there was either a walk up at either direct, at either pick up or drop off, and then um, the price was only about a hundred and twenty bucks. Wowin. So now with the $120 that's offered for the job of a move for a three bedroom apartment, you have to do that move with somebody else. So you need a helper, right? So now you gotta take your $120 and you gotta split it with a helper. Wow. So now you get less money for the move that you just did of the three bedroom apartment utilizing your van and a helper for $120 and have to split that don't make no sense dolly so i haven't been using dolly i haven't gotten a job off of dolly if they keep offering jobs like that you probably won't get no jobs off of dolly you know they got some big you know equipment or some different type of cargo that needs to get from point a to point b and they give it a nice price tag you know 30 40 50 dollars jump on it could make sense but dolly wants you to drive 20 plus miles $40, not even, $20 with a thousand pound cargo in your back of your van. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm not really messing with Dolly right now. All right, y'all, so the time is 10.06. We're just getting on the Brooklyn Bridge right now. We got about 14 minutes until we get to our pickup location. It says that there's about like six different bags of food. The full payout of the uh, total payout or the total cost of the food is about, I think it was about $1,400 or something like that. $1,400 worth of some food. Uh, I don't know what kind of restaurant I'm picking up from. We'll see when we get there, what kind of food that they offer. And so basically out of this $1,300, I'm getting 180. The tip was $134. The base pay was $50 from delivered. So, 
like I said, it's only about two miles from the pickup location to the drop off. So we ain't even putting no miles on there. I put about five miles of deadhead miles to drive to the pickup, which ain't even bad. So this job is sweet. Hopefully we can get another uh, another job right after this. I'll deliver that. Maybe deliver it for an afternoon drop off. They did text me this morning with another job offering for, I think it was like $54. My wife woke me up. They dropped it off about seven. Uh, they sent it over about seven o'clock this morning. I was just waking up. So she, she you know, woke me up and told me, hey, they sent you another job. But the time that they want me to do the pickup was at 9 a.m. So I would have had to have been on the road already about 8 and it was 7. Wow. I didn't have time. My wife had to go and drop off my son at school. She dropped him off about 7.30. Then she drives to work. Gets there about 8 o'clock herself. Um, you know, whenever I don't use my van, we share the car. So I'll be having to uh, get down to her job and go pick up the car before I go and make any moves for the day. So you know, I didn't really feel like jumping up out of bed, rushing and doing the most, you know, for, for $52. Some would have ran up on the opportunity. I just figured I'll make, I'll make some more money as soon as I'm done with this delivered order. And I'm already outside and it makes sense for me. Came over the Brooklyn Bridge. We have to make this left on Tillery. And we got about 10 more minutes. All right, Joe, so here we are. We're about to be pulling up to our pickup location. Get this food. Yeah, y'all can see I'm a big Raiders fan. Raiders been my team since I was probably like six years old. That was a team I used to watch growing up. That was the type of merchandise I used to buy as a kid. And that's my team. So we doing some big things this next this next season. Um, our off season is looking great. We're doing some great pickups. Um, we're scouting some good players. We got one of the best head coaches, Antonio Pierce. Max Crosby is doing his thing. We got a good team, y'all. So I expect some some good things going on for the new season. And hopefully, we could do uh, a nice playoff run this year. What's your favorite football team, man? Drop your comment below, drop your teams. Let me know how you feel about them. Show you show your team spirit, man. My wife works for a hospital. Um she's a project manager for the president of the of the hospital. So she gets a lot of different perks from her job. So all for the past well, 3 years, 4 years, We've been getting a lot of tickets to the New York Jets games. Um, the owners give us some tickets. We take the family. We go to the coaches club, which is right on the field. Um, they have an open bar, open bar, open food, it's free food, all you can eat, buffet for free, um, drinks for free. Um, right there on the on the sidelines, it's such a dope experience. Um, I'm a little bummed out that we're not going to be able to go anymore because they changed the. Uh, the president of that hospital and now the new one is a little bit younger and so he's keeping the ticket for himself and his own family so it was a dope experience you know what i mean we'll be able to go to the games again but not like that you know because those tickets it's like you got to buy the whole package for the whole year and it's like a hundred thousand dollars so wow i'm not I'm, I'm not that big of a fan to go spend money on tickets that I don't need. So we right here in Brooklyn. Have you ever had to take the the test for your fire guard or your torch license? There's a building right here on the right, this brown building. 
It's the uh, fire department building, and they. Oh shit! That's actually my turn. Hold on. Shut the hell up. And shut the hell up. So like I was saying right here, they have this, this building, you come to this building and you take your test for your fire guard and your torch license. Um, I have my air conditioning license, my universal license, I was uh, an air conditioning technician for a long time. And I, in order to be an air conditioning technician, you do have to have your fire guard license and your torch license. So I had to come down here to Brooklyn, to the fire department building and take my test. Of course I passed and I obtained my fire guard license and my torch license in order to be able to use a torch. When you're an air conditioning guy, you have to, uh, you know, braze and solder a lot of pipes together and build pipes for the refrigerant to flow through. So that's why you need your torch license. You will be using your torch, putting pipes together um, if you are an air conditioning mechanic. All right, so we're here downtown Brooklyn Time is currently 1018. It's March 27th on a Wednesday. And this is what it's looking like downtown Brooklyn. We right here on Fulton Street, by the Fulton Mall, for those of y'all that know about Brooklyn. This is the shops. And we should be picking up right there next to that Models says it's right there on that block so see we can find a good parking so we can load up and pick up this food place is called tame something like that t-a-i-m i don't know what kind of food they serve but uh we're about to find out right now so let's get up in here let's see how many bags of food they got for us Let's pack up and I'll see y'all in there. All right, y'all. So we had to come around the corner, around the block, because there's absolutely no parking. I didn't even see the place that we're picking up from. And there was no parking on that block that I had to stop off anyway. So I'm going around the corner, see if we can come back to it. And see if we can find somewhere we can pull up for one second and load up. Hopefully the food is ready already. Because that's another problem. Get into the location and then having to uh, wait for the food. It's no good. So we here we are coming back around the block. And come and see. We could find somewhere to pull over. If I could pull over and park up right here somewhere, I'll walk. It's not that far. Now everything out here is commercial parking too. Come on. Yeah, that's a problem with New York, you know? Everywhere you go, either Manhattan or downtown Brooklyn, is no parking. We go on this block right here because that 11 Hoyt Street is looking like this building right here. It says 11 Hoyt on this building, but it's like a residential building. Any type of food places in there? There's 11 Hoyt. Ooh. Mm. I wonder if I, if I could park in there for a second. It says it's in there. The GPS is saying that it's in there. So, of course, here we go. With a fucking... 
right only can't make no lefts over there and here we go back spinning around the block again yeah they make it so difficult for you to just drive you know they make it difficult for you to drive and for you to get anywhere look i'm getting so far away from my destination i'm i'm all the way on the other side now i'm about five blocks away from where i was supposed to pick up from because they don't let you uh, make no left turns over there leave the car down the block and run over here and try to see where this place is at that they're talking about i just spoke to somebody that walked out of the building and he said it was right here around the corner so I'm trying to run over here here we find this uh Tain. Oh, right here. Here we go. Yeah, so we made it, man. We made it, y'all. Let's pick it up quick. Smart What's going on, huh? Smart man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I had to go around to leave the car over there real fast. I'm trying to run. I couldn't see it, and then I couldn't make this left here. That's why such a clusterfuck over here. What's going on? How you doing? Which one bags are mine? All of them. We All of them? Yeah, we got some more coming too. Okay, all right, cool. Sure it, all right, cool. Let me start loading up little by little. So that way I can start running back and forth. So I hope he's gonna get All right, we got it. Right, y'all so we got our first load of the order let's go load this up right quick come and double check with the car see if we good i actually could go down this block and come back but you know what i don't even want to do it because then i'm going to end up getting stuck in the traffic there on livingston and i don't really feel like doing all that it's gonna waste our time and in this industry time is precious and time is money so we can't be out here sitting in traffic waiting. Right so my pickup is set for 1030. It's 1036 yeah. right now. Like I said, delivery gives you about 15 minutes after the top pickup time. Um, as like a grace period. So we're only six minutes in. And we got one more order to one more load to pick up like this. And then we off to the drop off. Let's load up right quick. Let me put some of this food in these bags. Look, y'all. I still got my boot here. <laughs> I gotta go drop this off, man. My wife told me, yo, you gotta go drop that off before they charge you. I said, yeah, man, I, I keep forgetting. They got everything done. He said he had about four more bags, so hopefully he's done with all the food. I can pick everything up right now. I ain't got to turn this into three trips. Let's go, let's get it. it might be three trips. Kind of looks like a lot more. Come on. We just standing in the stand. Open the door for me, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, so the GoPro died, so we here with the phone. It's our pickup. You already know, man. On the road with Ram Rican, man, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Right. Check it out. Ram Rican, like a Ram and Rican, Puerto Rican. Right. You already know, man. Shout out to the guys right here. You already know, man. Holla. We out here. Right. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we just got that second order picked up for that second load of the order. So let's go load this up into the car. So the homie in the restaurant, he was mad cool, man. Shout out to the homie in Tame. Taim, however you pronounce that restaurant, the homie's gonna definitely be tapped in with Ram Rica. So let's go load this up in the car. Let's go drop off to the delivery location. I'll see y'all there. Let's go. So we picked everything up. I got everything loaded in the car. As you can see, I'm cramped in here. Got a bunch of food in the back. Everything in the bags, whatever didn't fit. The cold food is outside of the bags. Hot food is inside. I even got food here in my passenger seat and the floors. We packed up, man. Let's go. We out of here. The drop off is about 15 minutes away. Let's go drop this off and let's collect our $184. All right, y'all. So we on our way to the drop off. 
Time is currently 10.51. Says we'll be there in about 15 minutes. We should be arriving at 11.06. We have until 11.30 to actually drop this off. So we making good time. Let's go drop this food off and collect our money. I was having some phone complication, man. My phone had went into SOS mode. I was having a complication trying to upload the picture from my delivered. Um, my GoPro, the battery died out. So there's a lot going on in that last couple of 10 minutes. So. Big ass truck. I don't know what that big ass truck is trying to do, but I, I gotta go. So let's get right here. We eight minutes out. Let's go drop off this food. Let's see what other kind of jobs we could get for the day. You already know, man. I'll see you at the drop off. All right, y'all. I'm not sure where I'm at. So let's see what's going on here. Hey, what's going on? I got a, a drop off that I got to do to one dock, 72. Following the GPS? Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I, this is where it told me to go through. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it's in here. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you, appreciate it. Be right back out. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. It says to go to the right. So we're here, we're inside the gates. We're pulling up to our drop off right now in one more minute. The notes inside of the uh, order said to call when I arrive and they will come downstairs and pick up the food for me. Can't be any easier than that. For $184, they're coming downstairs to come and meet me and pick up the food from me. Man, that's a beautiful order, man. So here we are. We're up along the water. Looks like something of the uh, sanitation department or something like that. So it says it's in that building right there. That big glass building. Let's see how the hell we're going to get in there. Okay. Now I gotta find out where their door is at. Try dock two, it was one, dock one. So that's dock two right there. So let's see where dock one is at. Is that building? Um, let's see. Let me give the call, customer a call, and see exactly where they want me to meet them. I'm gonna pull up right here where the uh, little pin is dropped, saying that that's where they're located, and we'll take it from there. Hello, good morning. This is Omar with the Easy Catering Delivery. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I just got to, um, it looks like it's like a uh, loading dock uh, entrance of this gray building yeah. with all the glass all over it. Yes, 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 that's it. Um, I can meet you downstairs. Sure, where would you like to meet me? And do you have like any possible like a cart? Because there's at least like yes. uh, probably like at least like 20 bags at the minimum. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, perfect. I'll bring a cart down and I'll meet you like by the loading dock. Perfect. I'm here. I'm in a black Honda Accord. I'll be here um, taking out the food perfect. and getting it ready. Okay, thank you so much. All right, cool. See you soon. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. You see, I just called the customer. I always put on my uh, my customer service friendly voice, you know. A lot of people tell me that I'm intimidating looking, you know, when I have my resting uh, Mitch face on. So I try to be nice with the way I talk to people, communicate. Um, so since so she's gonna come down, 
let me pull up a little bit closer to this actual loading dock space so that way it makes it a lot easier for us to unload this food so here's what we're looking at and we're gonna drop off the food right here let's get set up and let's get this food out so we can drop it off to them and they can enjoy their deliciously smelling good food all right so some of this food let's see what they got All right, so this plate right here says uh, falafels. That one says falafels. <coughs> see what else we got over here. Pickles, onion, pepper. Ooh, I can smell the pickles strong. Yeah, I don't like pickles. Not a pickle pipe, not a pickle person. So we got hummus, le lettuce. Hummus lettuce. And we got a bunch of other food. Hey, good afternoon. How you doing? How you guys doing? All right. Good morning. How are you? Everything is good? You guys are gonna eat good. Yeah, let's start, I guess. Some of these go on the bottom, if they fit. Yep. How you guys doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. What is this, met? it's like a Middle Eastern food, no? Yeah, right? Yeah, I was trying to think. Saw a few different, different <laughs> dishes there. Cause I never heard of the restaurant. So I was trying to figure out what kind of food they had. That's everything. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Take care. All right. Yes, you too. Thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, y'all. And just like that, we made $184 on a simple de delivery. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know how another way or any easier way to make $184 in 45 minutes so let's upload this picture here that i took of them on the low with i wasn't watching all right so like i said it was 1348 dollars for the subtotal of the food Base fee was $50, tip was $134. And just like that, we completed. So let's turn on the other apps and let's see what other kind of jobs we could get since we're out here in Brooklyn. Time is currently 11.16. We still got a lot of the day still left. I don't got to pick up my wife until two o'clock. So I got about two and a half hours still left. So let's get out of here. And let's go see what other kind of jobs we could find. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all, and just like that, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you're not subscribed right now, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and give your boy a share, man. Today we made $184 on delivered. You saw the, how easy the transition was, the pickup location. We had to do two trips because there was no parking. The drop-off was super smooth and easy. Called the customer that came down, they met us. And just like that, that was it. 
So I'm on my way home, about to edit some videos, go play some Call of Duty, cook up some dinner for the fam, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. You guys already know, man. Until the next time, tell a friend to tell a friend where they can find the best gig channel on YouTube, and stay running it up. <laughs>